Welcome to ePartshala in Linguistics. We are dealing with the topic language universals and language typology. My name is K. V. Subbara, Professor of Linguistics. Uh, today we are going to discuss copy control in Dravidian. All of you, I am sure, know what control is. So I am just first to give you the aim of this uh, uh, unit. We would like to briefly discuss what is forward control, what is backward control. Then we move on to a new phenomenon called copy control. And we'll discuss more about backward control. And we'll try to provide evidence in terms of copy control from Telugu, a Dravidian language. And that will be followed by the conclusion. In the last module, in module 13 on control, we studied the nature of non-finite clauses in which the identical subject is present, an identical subject is present overtly, either in the matrix clause or in the embedded clause. The most prevalent structure that is found across languages universally is the subject of the matrix clause is overtly present, and the subject of the embedded clause is not overtly present. This is what we call forward control. Forward control is found in English, in French, in languages such as Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi, in all Indian languages it is found. However, the opposite of this phenomenon can also be thought. How? That is, you can have a, the mat, um, embedded subject overtly present and the matrix subject absent. This phenomenon is called backward control. Let me define. The subject of the embedded clause is overtly present, and the subject of the matrix clause is not overtly present. The subject of the matrix clause surfaces as a null element, and this null, null element is generally an obligatory small pro. That means a pronoun cannot occur in that position. We provide an example of forward control from Hindi Urdu. Harik Bacha. Apne apne ghar jana chahta hai. Here, Harek Bacha is the subject of the matrix clause, which means every child. The subject of the embedded clause is a big pro, which is co indexed with the subject of the matrix clause. And this sentence means each child or every child wants to go to his own house. You can check such sentences in your own language. There is no depth for such sentences in any South Asian language. The uh, notice that in uh, forward control, the subject of the embedded verb is non-finite. Let's take an example. Each child wants to go to his or her own house. In, the ba in backward control, the subject of the embedded clause is overtly present, and the matrix clause is absent. Let us take an example from Telugu. All Dravidian languages have forward control and backward control. So only some Indo-Iranian languages, such as Assamese, Marathi, Konkani, have both forward and backward control. All the rest, like Bengali, Hindi, Kashmiri, Urdu, etc., they only have forward control. Now let's take a Telugu example to illustrate forward control forward control. Pro occurs as the subject of the embedded clause in S2 in sentence number 3. Master Garu Vontlo Bagoka Intig Vilipoeru. Master Garu, teacher Vontlo Bagoka, having not felt well, Intig Vilipoeru, he felt we went home. So now you have pro in the embedded clause, so this is a case of forward control. Pro is co-indexed with the teacher. The opposite is possible. In backward clause, the backward control, the embedded subject is overtly present, and the matrix subject is a null pro. Backward control from Telugu. Master gari ki untlo bagoka The embedded subject is dative case mark because Having not felt well, 
to feel good or to feel well is a predicate that requires a dative subject. And that is the embedded verb, vantlo bagoka. This is a negative conjunctive participle. So, master garu is the subject. Since the participle having not felt well requires a dative subject, master garu ki vantlo bagoka. Now, the null, the matrix subject is null, which is a small pro and integrity pairu. So, what you notice here is we are providing an evidence with the help of the dative subject to show that the embedded subject can be overtly present in Telugu while the matrix subject is null. In sentence number three, you have seen the other way where you have the matrix subject which is nominative case marked and the embedded subject which is pro, which is actually dative case marked. But since pro cannot carry any case marker, the pro is not visible, but it is a dative case mark pro. Mastagaru, Untlo, Bagoka, Integrity Peru. Telugu also provides, Telugu and all Dravidian languages provide uh, good evidence to show that pro in a language can be case marked. Big pro can be case marked. Sentence number three is an example. Similar examples can be found in all Dravidian languages. They are found in Rabha. They are found in Manipuri. So, the general principle that normally says that pro cannot be case marked is violated in Dravidian languages, in Rabha, in Manipuri, and also in Icelandic. Let us go to see what forward control is from Tibetan Burman, Mizo. Mizo is a Kukichin language, and most of the Kukichin languages provide, uh, um, provide evidence for forward as well as backward control. Let's take, take example number five from Mizo. Zavan chutlenga chut adu. Zava wants to sit on the bench. Now, want is a transitive verb, therefore, it requires sub the aggregative marker N with the subject. Zavan Adu is the matrix class. And the verb to sit is minus transitive. It requires a pro because it is infinitive. And the infinitive meso has two different forms for the verb. One is the finite form and one is the non-finite form. In sentence number five, you can see truth is minus finite form because it is an embedded non-finite infinitable complement construction with pro as the embedded subject. So let me read the sentence for you. Zovan chutlenga chut adu. Notice that pro is coindexed with zova in the matrix class. Backward control from Mizo. Zova chutlenga achu du. Now, why zova is nominative case mark? If zova is the subject of the matrix sentence, then zova should have carried an ergative case marker. But the case, the fact that Zova is nominative case marked, indicates that the embedded verb must be uh, minus transitive. That's what exactly it is. True, the verb to sit is minus transitive, but it is plus finite. Why? Because your subject is present here. So, you have a sentence here where the matrix subject is a null pro. Embedded subject is overtly present. Embedded subject is nominative case marked because the embedded verb is minus transitive. And interestingly, the matrix verb does not carry the subject agreement marker. Why? Because the matrix subject is zero.
when you have a zero null subject, there is no agreement marker at all in meso. Now we discuss the case of copy control. Here too we will discuss a non-finite clauses. Here the subject of the matrix clause as well as the subject of the embedded clause, both are overtly present. Such a phenomenon does not exist in languages such as English, French, German, Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi, Kashmiri, etc. So, now let's take a case of copy control to show that copy control in Telugu requires some conditions to be met. Let's take sentence number nine. The teacher having not felt went home. Here, Master Garu is the subject of the matrix class. Went home is the predicate. Now, what is the embedded predicate? It's a dative subject because not feeling well requires a dative subject. So, we have put he polite dative. Master Garu, he polite dative having not felt went home. This sentence is ungrammatical. That means in Telugu, copy control cannot occur if both the matrix subject and then the embedded subject are overtly present. Notice that in S2 ayan ki is co-indexed with master garu. We have used a, in, an index here E, I, and I. So, Master Garu is co indexed with I, I, and key. So, the indices are the same for both. So, Hadad in 2009, in two paper, one um, claims that copy control is possible in Telugu. We skip some slides. We go to sentence number 10. Sentence number 10. Kumar ki akali vesi, atanu ar kumar inti ki bhojanam jetti nadu. Having felt hungry, our kumar got hungry and he kumar ate dinner. This is Hazza's sentence. Notice that kumar is there as the matrix embedded subject, dative case mark, and atanu is there as the matrix subject or Kumar as the matrix subject. This sentence is not acceptable to most of the speakers that we talked because this is like the earlier sentence we have seen. Master Gariki Untlo Bhagavaka Aina Intik Vilipayaru where you have the similar, a similar structure. However, what we are going to see is that in Telugu, Copy control is possible under some specific conditions. The question that we want to raise is, does Telugu or any other Dravidian language or any other South Asian language allow copy control at all? Yes, we shall show that Telugu and all other Dravidian languages such as Tamil and Kannada do permit copy control under some specific conditions it is not free as before we proceed further. Let us make a distinction between universal quantifier and um, distributive quantifier. A universal quantifier includes the total set. So you have all in English, Andaru in Telugu. A distributive quantifier will have Priti Inta in each house. And we will now show that forward control, forward control with the universal quantifier as the matrix subject. An example from Telugu, Andaru Untlo Bagoka Intik Vilipayaru. All or everyone went home having not felt well. Here, Andaru is the matrix subject, which is a universal quantifier. It is co-indexed with Big Pro, which is the subject of the embedded clause. So it is a case of forward control. Backward control in Telugu, 
అందరికీ ఒంట్లో బాగోక ఇంటికి వెళ్ళిపోయారు ఒంట్లో బాగోక హ్యావింగ్ నాట్ ఫెల్ట్ వెల్ ఈజ్ అ ప్రిడికేట్ దట్ ఈజ్ అ నెగటివ్ కంజంటివ్ పార్టిసిపల్ అండ్ ఇట్ రిక్వైర్స్ ఎ డేటివ్ సబ్జెక్ట్ దేర్ ఫోర్ యూ హ్యావ్ అందరికీ ఒంట్లో బాగోక ఇంటికి వెళ్ళిపోయారు అండ్ ద మ్యాట్రిక్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఈజ్ నల్ ఫ్రమ్ తెలుగు టు షో దట్ పార్షియల్ కాపీ కంట్రోల్ ఈజ్ పాసిబుల్ లెట్ ఇస్ లుక్ ఎట్ సెంటెన్స్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఎవరికి ఒంట్లో బాగోక అందరూ ఇంటికి వెళ్ళిపోయారు ఎవరికి ఈజ్ అన్ ఎన్పిఐ దట్ ఈస్ అ నెగటివ్ పొలారిటీ ఐటమ్ ఇట్ క్యారీస్ ద నెగటివ్ పొలారిటీ మార్కర్ ఈ ఆర్ ఐ అండ్ ఒంట్లో బాగోక నాట్ ఫీలింగ్ వెల్ క్యారీస్ ఎ నెగటివ్ ద నెగటివ్ ఆఫ్ ద కంజంటివ్ పార్టిసిపుల్ సి కమాండ్స్ ద ఎన్పిఐ దేర్ ఫోర్ సిస్ దిస్ సెంటెన్స్ ఈజ్ వెల్ ఫార్మ్డ్ ఎవరికి ఒంట్లో బాగోక నో బడీ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫీల్ ఫెల్ట్ వెల్ అందరూ ఆల్ ఇంటికి వెళ్ళిపోయారు ఎవరిబడి వెంట్ హోమ్ అండ్ ద ఎవరికి హూ డేటివ్ ఎన్పిఐ ఇన్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ పొజిషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ టూ ఆఫ్ ద ఎంబ్రాయిడర్ క్లాస్ ఈజ్ కో ఇండెక్స్డ్ విత్ ద యూనివర్సల్ క్వాంటిఫైయర్ అందరూ ఆఫ్ ద మ్యాట్రిక్స్ క్లాస్ నా వాట్ ఈజ్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ దో ఎవరికి హూ డేటివ్ ఎన్పిఐ is not identical to andaru that many universal quantifier in form they are semantically identical therefore they both refer to the same identity identical entity this type of identity which is not formal identity in terms of form provides evidence to show that you have backward control in telugu and this also provides evidence to show that copy control in telugu is not free as hadar claims and telugu instead has partial copy control where the embedded subject is in the scope of the negative polarity item and the corresponding seek and commanding np is a universal quantifier expression occurring in the matrix subject position here they are not identical in form but they are identical in meaning there is semantic identity therefore the sentence provides a crucial example for copy control we will provide some more examples of copy control to show that copy control in telugu is a robust phenomenon and it what are the other conditions under which copy control can take place for example we shall show that the c commanding np in the matrix class may be a distributive quantifier in telugu for example you know what a distributive quantifier is a distributive quantifier is for example in every house christmas is celebrated in every house is a distributive quantifier in many south asian languages the distributive quantifier is manifested in terms of reduplication here what we see in sentence evariki sangat teliyaka andaru intiki velipayaru here you have an npi with the follower the npi is in in the subject position and you have negative with the embedded verb therefore you have a grammatical sentence distributive quantifier in s2 with an npi let's take sentence number 20 sentence number 20 let's take sentence number 20 e vakkadiki ee sangati teliyaka andaru intiki velipayaru literally ha uh, ev akadiki which one obligatory dative npi that is not any one e sangati this news 
తెలియక నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ నోన్ అందరూ ఆల్ ఇంటికి వెళ్ళిపోయారు నాట్ ఈవెన్ వన్ పర్సన్ హ్యావింగ్ నోన్ దిస్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఆల్ ఆర్ ఎవ్రీబడి వెంట్ హోమ్ దట్ మీన్స్ దట్స్ ద లిటల్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ యాక్చువల్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ హ్యాడ్ దిస్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఎవ్రీబడి లెఫ్ట్ ఫర్ దేర్ హోమ్స్ నవ్ వాట్ డస్ హదాస్ అనాలిసిస్ క్లెయిమ్ హదాస్ అనాలిసిస్ క్లెయిమ్ దట్ ద సేమ్ ఎన్పీ కెన్ అక్కడ ఇన్ ద ఎంబ్రాయిడర్ క్లాస్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ ఇన్ ద మ్యాట్రిక్స్ క్లాస్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ సెంటెన్స్ నెంబర్ ట్వంటీ యూ హ్యావ్ అన్ ఎంబ్రాయిడర్ సబ్జెక్ట్ విచ్ హ్యాస్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఫాలోడ్ బై an npi a vakadiki not any one not even one person and if you have the same np in the matrix class then the sentence would be ungrammatical we will see why it is ungrammatical so if you have a distributive quantifier in s2 as well as in s1 the distributive quantifier in s2 the subject of s2 is followed by a negative polarity item e so evakkadiki ee sangati teliyaka not anybody having known this news then according to hadas analysis you can repeat the same np evakkadu intiki velipayadu the sentence is ungrammatical you know why here evakkadu is which one nominative np it requires a negative polarity a negative in the matrix verb but there is no negative in the matrix verb therefore the sentence is ungrammatical the sentence is ungrammatical let me repeat because your npi in the matrix class is not c commanded by a negative therefore the sentence is ungrammatical in this module we have discussed forward control we have discussed backward control we have shown that there is a phenomenon called copy control where the subject of the matrix class and the subject of the embedded class may both be overtly present in a non finite class and such occurrence is not free that is copy control is not free as haddad in his works claims what we have shown is that there are certain conditions that have to be met in terms of the occurrence of the universal quantifier and the occurrence of the npi and the occurrence of the negative in the embedded class are required and you cannot have a distributive quantifier in the embedded class and a distributive quantifier in the matrix class and such sentences will be ungrammatical so copy control has to be uh, has to meet certain conditions in terms of negative polarity items and the occurrence of the universal quantifier and the distributive quantifier thank you चलिए हो गया